Hello children! It's me, Teacher Jameen. Are you guys ready to read the word with me? Alright, before we do, we want to invite the Holy Spirit. So can everyone open up your hands and say, Holy Spirit, come. that the Holy Spirit is with us. Let's read his word and then he can speak to us. Today, I want to talk about love. We think love is when you love your mommy and daddy and you wanna hug them and kiss them and you know, make them feel like they're special, right? And your friends or siblings, like your brothers and sisters will do. They also want to special, right? Let's figure out what the Bible says about love. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it says in verse 4, love is patient. Love is kind. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love protects, trusts, and hopes, and preserves. And the Bible says love never fails. In my journal, I usually take my pen and I write down what God says is important. And here I wrote the verse, love is patient. Love is kind. Love. What? Love is so many words. Even though love is just one word, the Bible uses so many words to describe it. Well, I want to go through a few of them. So what does it mean when love is patient? So when we're patient, we wait. So one way for us to show that we love someone is to be patient. So the next time maybe you're talking with a friend and your friend is talking for a really long time and you start to grow impatient and you start to fidget and you're like, oh, I don't want to listen anymore. Well, you remember, what does the Bible say? The Bible said that love is patient. So maybe you can say, God, please give me patience. And then you can listen to your friend. And then that is how you can show love. Also, the Bible says that love is not self-seeking. So self-seeking, I think, is another word for selfish. Selfish is when we want everything. I want this. I want that. I want this. No, I want that. No, I want this. When we're selfish, then we're greedy. And everything is about me, 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 me you know what the Bible says? That love is not selfish and love is not greedy. So we want to show other people love by giving things, right? I can give you. Here, I'll share crackers with you. And so that's one way that we can show someone love. We can give, right? Be generous. The Bible also says that love is not easily angered or angry right so what does that mean well, that means that love when we show love we don't want to be angry all of a sudden so let's say someone took something from you what's your first reaction what do you do when someone takes something from you when someone takes something from me I want to be angry I want to say, hey, that's mine, right? But that's being angry. So how should I act if I want to show that person God's love? Well, the Bible says it's not easily angered. So you know what? The next time maybe someone takes something from you, maybe you can think, oh, love is not easily angered. So you can say, hey, that's mine in a nice and loving way and you can say can i please have it back 
right? There are many ways for us to show love. We can be patient. We can be generous. We can be kind with our words, right? And you know what? God says that love never ever fails. You know, some other things do fail, which means it doesn't work. For example, if I am angry and I hit someone, <gasps> that would not be good, right? And then what happens when I hit someone? Then I get in trouble, right? Then that would not work and that would be bad, right? But you know what? If I showed love and instead was patient and was kind and used my words nicely, right? Then maybe I could show them God's love and God will be pleased and God will be happy that I showed his love. So I bless you children to have the love of God in your heart that you will please him every time that you show his love to everyone around you. Amen. Thank you children for reading the Bible with me today and learning about love. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.